All right guys, this is another honest video, just talking about where I am right now. And I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit of the idea of momentum and motivation and how those things are so connected because uh, I just this last weekend, I had my, my wedding ceremony, right? So the actual, uh, I got married to Nicole uh, about a year ago. And, but then we waited to do the ceremony because we wanted to just get the actual official marriage done, uh, especially before the end of the year because, you know, tax purposes and whatnot. But also we didn't want to wait, right? And then, so we, you know, we had the ceremony this weekend. It was, it was great. It was just awesome this last weekend. And so uh, when I went for the trip to travel to, to go do that, uh, I sort of got off track in terms of my running and my workouts and and just kind of my productivity and some of my eating habits and stuff like that. And so uh, what I found was that when I got back, uh, I was really demotivated, right? And, and even right now, I'm kind of demotivated. I'm not really in my best, right? I'm, right before I left, I remember I made some really, really good videos. I batched them all up. They've been coming out the last few days. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't get a lot of views, but I don't care about that. That's not that's not that big of a deal. But, um, but you know, I, I, figured, I figured I would just talk to you about uh, kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm in a place where I don't really have a lot of motivation and it's because of that negative momentum, right? And so maybe it would be useful I thought maybe to create this video and to kind of tell you about how I plan to get back on track and how to get that motivation back, uh, it, you know, basically dissecting my own situation, like knowing what I know, right? So uh, <clears throat> I can tell you that in this state, uh, what you want to do is you don't want to uh, start doing the things that are going to improve your state, right? Um, you know, it, it's such a weird thing because in my mind, I know that momentum equals motivation. And I know that if I start doing things and start adhering to the diet, if I start, you know, hitting my workouts hard and being productive, getting up on time and, and making sure that I'm, I'm very uh, deliberate in what tasks I'm doing and, and setting aside the time and planning things out and doing those exact things that I will feel a lot better in a few days. Like I, I know this is true yet. I don't want to do that, <laughs> all right? It, it's so weird how this happens. Or, or not only do I not want to do that, but in my mind, what I want to say is that, well, I'll start next week. I'll start on Monday. We'll have a nice clean week. And while that's not the worst thing in the world, it's not entirely true. And, and it just goes to show you how your brain is trying to prevent you from doing the things that are actually going to be beneficial to you, right? It, it's such a weird phenomenon, right? Especially having, being who I am, right? teaching people about this and having gone through this so many times myself, uh, you know, I, I sort of have to still convince myself that, hey, it doesn't matter how you feel about this. You're going to do this and you're going to feel better when you do do this. So anyway, I, I thought that would be something that might be useful to you guys to, to hear because uh, it is it is a fight. I think it's something that you're going to continually struggle with. And, you know, in some of my other videos, I was talking about how it's like, oh, you know, what was the, the purpose of, of getting all this, this discipline and mental toughness if it seems to go away? And uh, <laughs> I, it, I still, you know, I still wonder that to some degree, but it's still there, right? It's still there. It's just that it's, it's always going to be difficult to tap into that. Right, and once you do tap into it, there's a bigger reserve of it, of course. But you've you've still got to do that that initial work to tap into it. And really, the best thing that you can do is to keep the momentum going. Right, once your momentum stops, that's when things become difficult. That's why a lot of people they'll go on vacation, and then when they come back from vacation, they'll feel worse than when they went on vacation. You know, the vacation was supposed to give them a chance to relax, but in reality, what it did was it stopped their momentum and that momentum killed the rest of the motivation that they had once that momentum stopped. So that does happen quite a bit. So, but, um, but yeah, where I'm at right now, also just to give you an update in terms of what I'm planning with, with Bulldog Mindset and with these videos is I'm going to continue doing these daily videos. I like doing these daily videos. I think it's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. I mean, right now, to be honest, I'm a little bit struggling to come up with some video ideas. Sometimes, you know, I just have just a ton of ideas and it's like, wow, you know, I, I could just talk for hours and just make, you know, tons of videos. But other times, like now, when, usually when I've, I've lost the motivation and the momentum, uh, I, I feel a little bit dry on ideas. But <clears throat> I know that that will 
that will reignite again and on you know and, and this are, this is the thing that I, I really enjoy doing so um, I'm kind of thinking about you know taking the rest of this year to really just kind of form uh, to form sort of an idea of what exactly do I want to do right what exactly do I want to do going forward uh, with bulldog mindset and, and with this this channel and the business and things like that and and I'm sort of you know, <laughs> developing this over time. Now it might change, but currently what the plan is, uh, or what I'm, I'm thinking makes a lot of sense to me, is to really focus on just, again, as, delivering as much authentic content as possible, where I'm being just as raw and honest as possible with the camera and just talking to you guys and helping you with what I can help you with, right? Which, which again, I, I talked about this in one of the other videos, but transformational mindset and philosophy content for men. That's really what what I see as the, the central theme of the channel and, and what I'm interested in. And then um, I have some thoughts of potentially rebooting the Bulldog Mindset membership uh, to create a, a new version of it on a new platform, which will uh, be more focused on this. There'll be less salesy, less marketing, right? Um, just across the whole brand. You know, right now I still have a lot of marketing initiatives going in place and I think that's fine, but eventually I'd like to phase those things out and then just really have a really authentic product that I would like to uh, like to sell as, as a primary product in the business that, um, that yeah, that just matches more with this idea of mindset and philosophical uh, transformation content for men like that. That is kind of the, the thing. And so I haven't completely figured out exactly what that will be. Uh, if you guys have some ideas of, of what you would like to see, you know, leave a comment down below and let me know. But I'm thinking in terms of, you know, a, a whole transformation, like a year transformation, or maybe something where I just outline kind of all of my life philosophies and sort of the mindsets that I feel will help you to become successful, right? Maybe like a roadmap to, uh, to success, a roadmap to transformation, to, um, you know, to a higher level of awareness, right? That, that type of, of thing I think would be extremely valuable and it'd be fun to create that, that kind of content, right? So it doesn't mean that I've abandoned the financial side of things, right? I'm still running my well that never runs dry program. You know, if you wanted to get into that, we are still taking some applications there. Um, you can, you can send me a DM on Instagram and we'll get you hooked up with that. But, um, but yeah, but my focus just hasn't been that, that much in the area of, of financial stuff, just because that's not really what I'm super interested in myself right now. Now that might change over time as I start doing more investments myself, but, um, you know, I've just been thinking about like, uh, I, I've been trying to make the business really, well, I've been trying to really make the channel and the content that I'm creating, let, let's say that, support the business in the sense that I'm trying to create content, right? At least, for, at least for the last few years where, okay, I need to create this content in order to get leads in order to make money in the business, right? And that's kind of been the the driving factor, right? That, that's, that, that I've been, been doing things, right? With that purpose in mind. It doesn't mean that I'm not sharing thoughts that I have. It doesn't mean that I'm not trying to create good content. It doesn't mean that I don't believe in the things that I'm saying. It's just that that has been the focus is like, let's create content that is focused on making money. I mean, that's the simplest way I can put it. And so what I'm really thinking about doing now is reversing it and saying, let's make money in the business so that I can create authentic, true content th that I want to put out there. Right? So, uh, it's a completely sh a complete shift of the focus, right? Where it's like before you might think, all right, well, you know, I'm going to create this content so I can make this money so that I can do what I want, <laughs> right? So I can have more free time and I can, you know, be, uh, you know, be free to, to do more, more things or like, how can I automate this business so that I'm not having to work in this business as much and, you know, have other people, you know, generating revenue for this business. Whereas now uh, I'm, I'm sort of realizing like, well, you know, I really enjoy making these kind of videos. I really enjoy talking to you guys and, and sharing my thoughts on, on, on the camera. And, and um, you know, like I said, you, you are my personal therapist, right? Like I, I, <laughs> I share the stuff with you and it helps me to form my own thoughts and helps me to really uh, figure out a plan and to, you know, get these ideas out of my head 
uh, and, and, and formulate them. I, I think this is, is, is really useful for, for me. So, um, yeah, so, and the, and the big thing about it is I enjoy this, right? Like I enjoy sharing these ideas. I enjoy this discussion. It, it's funny at my, at my wedding, we had, I had a bunch of guys there that were, it was such a diverse group of guys, right? Because I had, uh, you know, some guys that were in their fifties and I had guys up to, I think the early youngest was 21 years old, right? you know, 24, 30, right? All, all around the ages, different various levels of success. And we had these great philosophical discussions when we're getting ready before the wedding, right? It was just, it was just great to talk about that kind of stuff. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed engaging and talking about libertarianism and why I believe in that. And like, you know, and, and I realized that a lot of people, they don't really have a foundation for their beliefs, right? I, not that you should even have beliefs, essentially, like you, you should have probabilistic beliefs, in, in, which means that you should you know, have some degree of certainty in a thing, but you shouldn't have like strong beliefs because uh, those things now become personal to you, but that's a topic for another video. But anyway, uh, it, it just made me realize that a lot of people, they don't really think through why they believe things or why they think things and they don't really have a solid base for that. And that's something that I'm really good at. That's what something I do. Like all of my philosophies in life, they come from me really thinking through things carefully and asking a bunch of questions as, you know, well, why would this be? Or, you know, what, does this really make sense? Or, you know, how, you know, how can I say this? Like what supports this? Right. You know, what, what is the actual truth behind this, which is really, you know, the, the goal of philosophy. So I love philosophical discussions. Uh, I also had another discussion with one of the guys there that's kind of a younger guy that I've been mentoring. And, you know, <laughs> it, it, it was funny because I was there with, with another one of my friends at, at uh, in kind of the, we rented this big house before for the wedding. And uh, it, it, and the, the other guy, you know, he was the, the one, the, the kid I was, I was mentoring, he was kind of telling some lies, right? It was just, it was not accurate information that, that he was he was giving out. Uh, it kind of about himself and about his accomplishments. And I understand why he's doing it, right? I mean, obviously he wants to impress me and, you know, he wants to seem, you know, more advanced than, than he is. He wants to be fit in with, you know, the guys that are more successful. And I get it, but you know, I had to call him out on, on these things, right? And I called him out for his own good, not because I'm a jerk or just trying to, you know, but because I wanted him to see that, like, it's really important to be honest with yourself and to be honest with other people, because if you're not, then you can't actually advance. It's, you're, you're basically pinning yourself in a corner. And it was funny because, I won't go into all the details there, but one of my, uh, my good friends that was there, he was like, do you, do you, do you enjoy doing this kind of coaching? <laughs> Because he was irritated. He was annoyed. He was like, yeah, you know, this is like, like what the hell is, is going on here? Like he was just, you could tell he was getting irritated. And I was like, yeah, I do. I enjoy doing this kind of coach. I enjoy doing this kind of thing. I enjoy engaging in these kind of intellectual discussions and uh, in helping people to like stop bullshitting themselves. That's that's a lot of what, what I do. And and hopefully you've gotten this from, from this channel. And hopefully you watch some of these videos and you're like, all right, John, I, I get it. I'm, I'm stop bullshitting myself. Like, you know, so uh, I like to call people out on, on stuff like that uh, in order to help them, them change their lives and improve. And so, yeah, so, you know, that's again, to, to put all this into perspective, like what, what does this all kind of mean? Where is this going? And um, it's that, I'm sort of trying to figure out that direction, like the sweet spot of, you know, I guess you could call it the, I can never pronounce this word, ikigagi, ikigagi, gaki, ikigagi, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, you can look it up, it's Japanese. It's the intersection of uh, what you love, right? What people will pay you for, what is needed in the world, and what you're good at, I think that's that those those things. And so I'm looking for that. I'm trying to kind of figure out what, and I and I kind of already know what it is. Like I'm, like I'm talking about these things, but I want everything to kind of align with that. And it's kind of interesting because it is a shift from from my thinking. You know, early in the bulldog mindset days, and I still believe this to a degree. But early in the bulldog mindset days, I was really big on this idea of you have to be able to work without motivation. Right, you have to be able to push yourself through it and, and love the grind, and I still believe that. Right, it's not like I don't believe that. It's just that I'm also sort of realizing that 
you kind of also have to love what you're doing, right? You have to find a way to love what you're doing. I mean, there's some times where you're just going to have to just suck it up and, you know, if you got to shovel shit, you got to shovel shit. And that's, and that's true. And there are cir circumstances where that's the case in order to get to a better place. But you can't just keep on shoveling shit forever, right? It, because you're going to waste your whole life if you're just shoveling shit forever. That's the one part about it that, you know, I, I think that I didn't realize before is because now I'm at a point where it's like, yeah, I can keep on grinding, but for what purpose? Right? And I think that's kind of, you know, I'm just having this really big revelation here. Thank you. <laughs> Is that, uh, you know, I think that's what, what sort of disturbed me in the, in the last few years, right? Uh, it, you know, as I've, I've had this existential crisis for, for quite some time, really, really since I retired, to be honest with you. I mean, it, it's come and gone, but, you know, 10 years ago, I, I was having questions like this. I was, I was asking these questions. And I think what it really comes down to is that, I kind of realized that how long am I going to grind and for what purpose, right? If you're grinding for a specific purpose, it makes sense. It, it's great. Like you, you know, you need to enjoy the grind and, and at least in some way the grind is motivating because you know, you're going towards some kind of goal. But in my case, what is the specific purpose that I would like, like why grind for the rest of my life? For what? what, what am I trying to achieve by that? To make more money? So what? So that I can grind more, right? It's like, you know, it's a never ending thing. And so what I sort of realized is that I need to connect a true deeper purpose to what I'm doing, right? I need to enjoy what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And, and like I said, that might not be the phase of life that you're in. You might just need to suck it up and grind right now and work without motivation. And that's fine because you need to get to a place where you, you can do that. But at some point, the transition has to occur where you do enjoy the work that you're doing and you do it for that purpose, right? And so, because otherwise you're kind of wasting your life. I spent a lot of time in my office here, I spend a lot of time in front of the computer. Um, you know, I, I either need to not do that at all, right? <laughs> or I need to be doing something that I'm in, enjoying doing. And that's why, you know, like I said, I started doing these daily videos. I didn't even really intend to do that, but then I was like, okay, I actually really enjoy doing this. And so there, there you have it. So that's, that's kind of the direction, like I said, that, that I'm, I'm, I'm pushing in and, uh, and, and we'll see. I'm, I'm giving myself plenty of time to figure this out. Um, it, it's been really hard too because I talked about this before a long time ago about I sort of turned myself into a robot, sort of a machine, right? I could just like do stuff and, uh, and it, it almost broke me, right? I, I kind of broke myself because I was like, well, what do I actually want? <laughs> what I actually like doing? What actually do I enjoy doing? And I didn't have an answer to that. And I'm sort of, you know, figuring that out now um, and, and figuring out how I can synthesize the two things, right? How can I synthesize the business with what I actually enjoy doing? Not to say that I haven't enjoyed doing some of the stuff I, I've done over the years in the business, but a lot of it I haven't. I've just kind of got into this grind mode and I'm always in this, this grind mode. And so now I'm trying to sort of break out of that. And so that's why I'm also giving myself some space and some time is that I want to give myself at least to the end of the year to really figure out the plan what do I want to do? Sort of live a little bit more free with trying to just do kind of stuff that interests me until I find something really to grasp onto and then and then start going with that. So there there you have it. That's the the current state of John address. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.